Hey y'all, so I'm going to talk about Thomas the Rhymer. Um, now I know this isn't a very popular book, um, but it is one that a friend of mine suggested that I read because it's his favorite book. Um, and so I always, I'm always interested to see um, what people's favorite books are. I feel like I can kind of tell you a lot about them as a person. Um, and it was actually uh, quoted to be elegant and beautiful um, by Neil Gaiman. So it, um, it actually intrigued me. This is called Thomas the Rhymer. And um, it, it doesn't really, if you're looking for, and this is pretty small um, for a fantasy novel, but if you're looking for world building, this is not the book for you. Um, you don't really get a lot of world building at all. You get certain pieces um, and you also don't get much of the magic system. You're going to spend a lot of the book just kind of wondering what's going on. Um, but as soon as I realized that this isn't a fantasy book, this is a book that is following Thomas the Rhymer's life, um, then I started to enjoy it more. I realized that I wasn't going to get those fantasy things out of this book, and it was just about Thomas the Rhymer himself and um, his travel to Elfland, and I um, and it made me enjoy the book a lot more than I thought I would. Um, it's a really slow start. I read about half of it and took a break and then came back a few months later and finished it. Um, so I'm sorry to my friend because I had your book for a long time. But um, it was it was kind of frustrating because um, sometimes you don't fully understand certain implications. Um, so sometimes it can be frustrating. But once again, if you just if you kind of go into it expecting to, you're just going to know what Thomas Rhymer knows, and he doesn't know everything. He's just a human. Um, so if you kind of go into it expecting that and not um, a typical fantasy where you get to learn all about the world and the magic, then I think you might enjoy it better than what I started out liking. Um, so there's not a lot of uh, spoilers that I really want to get into. Um, so I guess the few spoilers that I have is I hate the Elf Queen. Um, she's terrible. <laughs> Um, but I understand, like, she's an elf, you're supposed to hate her, um, so, not, not because she's an elf, but you're just supposed to hate her because that's who she is in the story. Um, so, and, and the game between the hunter and Thomas was actually pretty interesting and clever. It was a little bit weird, um, but like I said, they're, they're elves, they're supposed to be foreign by nature. Um, so it was kind of hard to keep up with the hunter at some points, um, but overall, I did really enjoy the book. Um, I'd give it three stars. I said it's a slow burn, pretty slow start. But um, if you just take it for what it is, the story of a man's life that had just a small bit of magic in it, um, I think you'll really enjoy it. It's uh, told in four parts, um, four different points of view. It doesn't flip back and forth. Um, so you have the first person's point of view, and then it's the second, and then it's, uh, I believe Thomas is the third. And then you have the fourth, and then the book is done. So you don't go back and forth between points of view. Um, so it's an interesting way to tell a story, but it really worked in this one. So um, I guess those are, that's going to be it for the spoilers. This is actually just going to be a really quick review. Um, I do have um, a couple of quotes we'll keep in the spoiler section. Because um, one um, just really, it just sounds so... Um, epic, honestly. It sounds so epic because it says, the earth cannot hold all of the blood that's shed on it, and so the stream flows below. Um, and I really like that. I think it really speaks beyond what it's saying in reality. It really speaks to humans as a whole, human society. We love war. We love killing each other. It's depressing, and so I feel like that quote um made by the um i don't know if it, if the elf queen says it or if that's just part of the narrative i can't remember at this point it's just very profound it means so much and has so much deeper meaning and it kind of makes you really think about the lengths that people go to to hurt each other and it's just sad and we should treat each other better um this last quote is one that i included because it made me think of I, I don't know, I just really related to the quote quite a bit, um, but it said she stood like a stone as though if she moved she would crumble to dust or crush him with her rage. Um, and I, like I said, I just really connected with that quote. 
This is a book where Ellen Kushner, the author, she writes very beautifully um, and those quotes are testament to that. She has um, a beautiful way of writing and I think that also helped me get through the book as well. Um, her writing is just is gorgeous. So um, I would definitely suggest it for people that just want like a quick read that don't want to dive too deep into a world. Um, I believe this is a one-off. If it, it feels like a one-off, I don't think it's part of a series. Um, I'm going to treat it as a one-off, <laughs> but um, I would definitely, I'd give it three stars. And if that's the kind of, um, if you're just wanting a short, quick dip into a little magic book, um, that might be a little bit more purple in writing, um, and a little less meaty, um, then this would be a good book for you. Um, so let me know if anybody else, because I said this isn't a very common book, and so I'm really um, interested to see who else has read this book out there or has at least heard of it or plan on reading it. Um, so just drop me a comment down there and uh, I'll talk to you all soon. Y'all take care. Bye.